My bike has done 102 hours now. Um, when I made the compression testing video, someone called Richard Tessier suggested an additional test of looking at the exhaust port to check the condition of the piston. Um, as I've got the uh, exhaust chamber off right now uh, to repair, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to go ahead and look at the uh, piston. Um, and the exhaust port is just here. Uh, so as you can see, it's quite dark. So I'm going to use a, uh, a torch, shine it in there and uh, move the piston up and down and check the condition. I think you can see there's uh, no scratches or marks on the piston. It looks in really good shape. And I'm going to move it down a little bit, see if we can see the top of the piston. So now we can see the uh, piston rings and the top of the piston and that looks in really good shape as well. Uh, I can't see any marks at all. So as you saw the uh, piston and rings still look in very good shape. Uh, the compression is also very good so I'm going to stick to my plan of uh, changing the piston and rings at 150 hours.